Okay, guys, I wanted to start a new segment here, calling it What I'm Reading. And Sumi, I'm wearing the same damn t-shirt as uh, yesterday. I don't care, I'm staycationing right now, so. I wanna talk about a book I'm reading right now. Uh, funny thing is, it is a series. Uh, check out yesterday's, um, yesterday's video about doing art in series. Uh, this is the second uh, group trilogy of the series and I read it a long time ago and I swear to God it had saved my life. I don't think I'd be the same person as I am today without uh, these books. So, tried and true, covers off. Yes, Dragonlance. I know it sounds a little hokey, whatever. You know, Margaret Weiss and Tracy Hickman, not the best authors in the world. Literally saved my life. So, I'll tell you a little story. When I was in ninth grade, I had severe learning disabilities. Uh, I was reading and spelling at like a fifth grade level maybe in ninth grade. Um, and then I discovered uh, Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, it gave me an incentive to uh, learn to read and um, the Dragonlance series helped because it was riveting, captivating, and uh, just all around awesome book for a uh, ninth grader. Um, and that's why I'm rereading it. It's been a long time and I just wanted to really just relive those those memories from a long time ago. And it's amazing how, how well the book actually holds up um, uh, there. So by the end of ninth grade, because of uh, Dungeons and Dragons and Dragonlance and uh, high fantasy uh, books, was, started reading a lot at that point, I went from like a fifth grade level reading level uh, up to my grade, ninth grade, in that one year. Um, I still took special classes for a little while after that, but uh, by my senior year, I was in English uh, Lit, which was the hardest literary class my high school had to offer, and that's why I'm reading, yeah. And since this is a new series, I just want to mention one other book I read uh, just recently, uh, and I would recommend this to anybody who likes uh, kind of fantasy, but still working in, in like the real today world, and that would be Kevin Hearn's Hounded. This book is part of the Iron uh, Druid Chronicles, it's the first book, and it is cool because it's about an ancient druid who figured out how to stay alive for over 2,000 years. And, and his adventures uh, against all the crazy stuff and gods that want to basically kill him. Uh, because he's, over the 2,000 years, he's really made some enemies, uh, including one of the, uh, the gods in the Irish uh, realm, uh, one of the two-a-day Danon, called Angus Og. Um, the first book is all about those adventures, and um, you know he has his lawyers are a werewolf and a vampire, pretty much, and stuff like that. And uh, where he meets his his apprentice, and all the adventures with him and his dog Oberon, who he has a mental link with, so they communicate back and forth. And Oberon's really, really funny and cool. It's a, He's a uh, Irish wolfhound, so a huge hound, uh, obsessed with, um, and, and you know, if your dog could speak, what, what would your dog say? He always talks about, of course, food, especially sausages, and um, his affinity to, uh, I should say his affinity and love of uh, French poodles. So if that doesn't get your uh, shtick, then nothing will, I think, so. Let's get on to uh, the rest of the video. Cool. Bye. Didn't get much art in today. 
but I had a nice little uh, pizza date with my lovely and uh, we stopped at the art store and I wanted to get some new brushes and stuff so I got some brushes I've never used before and um, I also decided in spite of uh, the video the other day which uh, so basically I talked about the colors I use I decided I wanted to play with some more colors so I bought a color by Gamelin uh, this is a common color um, Indian yellow uh, it's a beautiful kind of golden golden yellow instead of that yellow yellow of like cadmium and uh, I decided that tomorrow uh, I'm gonna do a painting of um, oh these mosquitoes are horrible a painting uh, of something I don't know what yet um, uh, with using this as the primary color and using a very limited palette on top of it also that means I'm not gonna use any cadmium yellow none of yellow ochre raw raw sienna or or the like this is gonna be my yellow and kind of orangishy color uh, probably still use alizarin crimson and some blues and greens and all that stuff just to see what this thing can do um, yeah so look forward to that I hope you like this video uh, the new segment I really want to tie in with other vloggy slash uh, what have yous uh, we'll do that whenever I'm reading something new uh, I'll talk about a book whether I'm finished with it or uh, in the middle of it uh, if you like that please comment below and tell me that you like it and or uh, if you have any uh, reading recommendations for me I'd really appreciate that too all right so we will sign off for today and uh, I think this is day five wow anyway we'll see you later yesterday got stung by a gall darn hornet yellow jacket no fun found the nest knew it was somewhere close by they had moved it from its old location and uh sucks ass i still have to get rid of it but uh it is right there